Welcome to another edition of Six and Stones. Man, I think you're going to love today's episode. I have a classic kind of pairing today. You're not going to want to miss a moment. Not a moment. Uh, I am pairing McAllen, 12-year-old Sherry Oak, with Olive Siri V. You do not want to miss any of this. So just hang on. We're going to get right into it. Now, McAllen, 12-year-old Sherry Oak. They've been one of the leaders in the uh, scotch industry for uh, many years. Uh, Originally established around 1824, so uh, they have been, I mean, you pretty much cannot go into a bar and grill, a bar, anywhere like that, and them not have... McAllen on the shelf. Maybe not necessarily 12 year old Sherry Oak, but they'll have McAllen on the shelf. As a matter of fact, I was at an Italian restaurant last night and I was perusing through the uh, scotches and they had McAllen. So, anyway, I'll give you another look at it here for those of you that are uh, watching the live stream. That is a beautiful spirit, very elegant, very simple. Um, now, <clears throat> They have been known for using sherry butts in the past. And uh, this particular offering is kind of along in that same vein. Uh, This is, if you don't know, uh, this is a Speyside Scotch. Uh, Speyside is one of the five Scotch regions in Scotland. Speyside is probably my favorite. Uh, Speyside and then maybe Highland uh, and then Lowland and, you know, anyway. Uh, but this is a space side. The distillery is McAllen. Uh, it is a single malt, which means it is 100% malted barley. It is aged for 12 years in sherry casks. It is 43% alcohol by volume. So 86 proof, if my math is right. And it'll run somewhere around $79 a bottle or so, depending on where you get it. So uh, it is actually very approachable in that regard it's not it's not a hundred and forty dollar a bottle but let's go ahead and pop it open love that sound followed closely by that sound Mm. now There it is for those of you on the live stream. It has very, very good legs on it. Nice viscosity, clings to the glass very well. It is a uh, kind of a medium golden brown, not, not really a light. There are actually some red hues in it, but it is a beautiful spirit. Now on the nose. I get uh, like raisins, figs. Uh, that's really probably the first like noticeable aromas. There's also some floral notes in there and a little, uh, maybe some like tropical fruits kind of join in. They want in the party as well. And uh, kind of an oaky spiciness. Mm. And there is just a very slight tinge of burn in your nose, not much at all. I think this is going to be a uh, very good experience for all of us. All right, on the palate. It has got a very, very rich and creamy texture to it. It's not, it's not heavy enough that it like coats your mouth. Uh, like maybe some of the uh, eyelays do, they're, they're very heavy. 
uh, but it does give you just that kind of rich coating, a little kind of creaminess that uh, just wanders around your mouth. And uh, it's got kind of a sweet spice, almost a uh, almost to the point of a jammy type flavor to it. The uh, the finish, you pick up uh, baking spice like nutmeg, cinnamon. Um, it does have a little bit of an oaky character to it. Kind of chew that around a little bit. And it does have a, a, a nice, easy, long finish. It hangs on, but it just, it's very, the whole sip is just smooth and creamy and rich and lovely. Uh, I, this is, I've had the regular Macallan 12, but I do believe that the, the sherry cask uh, does kind of bump it up just a little bit. You know, it gives it a little bit of a richer character, uh, kind of a fruity or florally. Um, and I think that is because of the, the sherry butts. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's really good. Really good. I think it's going to go very well with the Olive. Set that aside. Now, let's see what the Olive gives us. Now, this is the Olive Serie V. This is a Toro 6x54 on the ring gauge. Visually, you lean over into the light. I'll lean over towards the camera there. It's a little light over here, too. Uh, and I apologize if there's any wind noise. It is a rather windy day here in Texas. Uh, but anyway, the, uh, it is a very well-constructed stick that is uh, medium brown, maybe with just kind of a slight reddish hue to it. It's got uh, tight but visible seams. Minimal veining, but the, the few veins that it does have are fairly pronounced. They're pretty easy to see. And it does have a uh, triple cap. So let's go ahead and test out the nose on the, oh, by the way, uh, the filler and binder in this particular stick are both Nicaraguan uh, and they are Ligeros. They are the top primings at the top, make them very flavorful. And the wrapper is a beautiful, beautiful Ecuadorian Habano. Now, let's give the nose a test. I get uh, leather and uh, maybe like some stables or barnyard kind of aromas. I get uh, cocoa and a little bit of cedar and just a hint of spice. All right, we'll go ahead and cut this. I'm, I'm very excited about this pairing. And while I'm working on it, I will tell you that I did a, uh, a review today for my new uh, cigar cooler, my new humidor. It is a King Chi 145L that will hold 650 sticks. Be watching for it because it's going to be out. I actually did do a live stream on Amazon, uh, but I'm also, I'll have it on video and I'm going to be launching it onto all of my social media in the next day or two. So be watching for that because it, I love it. It is wonderful. All right, let's toast her up. Oh, cold draw. I'm getting ahead of myself. Luckily, you reminded me. Okay, the cold draw is, uh, I get cream or creaminess. Get notes of coffee and uh, chocolate and uh, just maybe a hint of pepper. And a very easy draw. This is a very easy drawing cigar, but not, not like too easy. So, 
It, and as I said earlier, is impeccable construction, which is what you expect from Olive. So now we're ready to toast it up. I've just been running 90 to nothing all, all weekend. Cause I, uh, it took me nearly an hour to, uh, to get the, uh, the new humidor out of the packaging. Very good smoke production on this stick. Uh, <clears throat> right off the light, I get uh, I get some more coffee. Uh, I do get some baking spices, and where there was uh, kind of chocolate on the cold draw, this is a little more of lo along the lines of cocoa on the palate. And I get. Uh, a bit of black pepper on the uh, retro inhale. Smoke is nice and velvety and rich, really good. I'm gonna touch this up just a little bit. It looks a little wavy and I think it's probably my lighting. I wanna make sure I uh, have it right. All right, that's a little better. Now let's try them together. Yeah, it's so windy out that the, the smoke doesn't stay in the glass very long. It just sucks it right out. That's what she said. <clears throat> All right, but let's get to what we're here for. These do go very well together. Um, the uh, the creaminess and the coffee and the chocolate uh, on the stick marry with that kind of fruity, spicy, florally sweetness uh, in the Macallan. Uh, I mean, I really think this is going to be a very, very solid pairing. Um, so uh, those of you that are listening on the audio, I'm gonna go ahead and burn this stick down to the halfway mark and I will come back and give you an update. And those of you on live stream, we're gonna keep going. Hey, stoners, I am back. Uh, here at the half, um, I think the, uh, the Olive Serie V is, is probably giving us a little more, uh, I, like I picked up some rich tobacco flavors in it. And I think the uh, the coffee is kind of ramped up a little bit to more like a, a darker roast coffee. Uh, and the cocoa, I think it's really kind of become more of a, uh, uh, like a bittersweet kind of, you know, darker chocolate. But still going very well with the Macallan 12. The Macallan is, it is, it's just whatever the stick is giving me it's kind of working with it and, and going well and just marrying up very, very well. Uh, it has this, this you know, wonderful profile that is allowing it to kind of mix with anything that the stick is giving me. Um, I, I think they go very well. I think they go very well together, but I also think they would individually, they would go well with other spirits too. So uh, it's not like this is the only thing I think they could go with. So I am gonna go ahead and uh, burn this down to the band and I will come back and give you my final thoughts. Hey, stoners, I am back. And as the folks on live stream have found out, uh, here in the last half, this pairing has really showed out. Uh, the coffee in the Olive kind of shot on through dark coffee and became espresso uh, while the spice 
the baking spices were joined with a, a black pepper, not overpowering, but a black pepper that that brought a really nice, uh, very interesting, uh, spicy factor to the stick. Uh, and I mean, it's this is a 95 rated cigar. I mean, it's it's a very good cigar. Uh, the Macallan was not going to be outdone though. Uh, with every puff and sip, this just outstanding scotch proved that it could keep up with that cigar and it just it would dance wonderfully across your palate with with that nice uh smoky um cocoa bittersweet chocolate as as you continue to ramp up through it and it had the the coffee notes on on the stick uh it just all went together so well uh, i i really enjoyed it I would give the stick, I would give it a 90 uh, matchsticks out of 100. Um, it, is, it is probably one of the best Olivets I've ever had, and I've, I've had most of them. Uh, I really probably enjoyed this one the most. Uh, the Macallan 12-year-old Sherry Cask, uh, I would give it an 88 Whiskey Stones out of 100. Yeah, and, and I'm kind of wavering back and forth about should I go ahead and give it 90? I mean, it's that good. Um, it uh, it had a nice, sweet, kind of fruity, florally component to it, uh, but it wasn't so mild or mellow that the cigar just walked all over it. It, it kept up, and it was extremely smooth, extremely smooth. It's a great 12-year-old scotch. Uh, and I would recommend both of these wholeheartedly either together you should really try them together like I did or they are both versatile enough that you could try them with other stuff uh, just off the top of my head uh, I think the Olive Serie V would, would go pretty well because of the cocoa and the you know ranging up into bittersweet chocolate and kind of the coffee component um uh, uh, with a Dalmore 12, I think that would be a, a good, uh, a good another match for it. And the Macallan could pretty much go with anything. Uh, I will, uh, I will have to work up another pairing for this one and just test that theory out. But they are both excellent. I hope you have uh, enjoyed this pairing as much as I have enjoyed bringing it to you. Uh, please leave me some comments. Uh, let me know what you think of uh, this offering or the show all together. Uh, hit like, subscribe, share, notify, um, especially the share. I have more people on today than I have ever had. Uh, <clears throat> and I am very thankful, and I thank all of you for that. Uh, please go ahead and visit our website, sticksandstones.com, S-T-I-C-K-S-N-S-T-O-N-E-Z. Dot com. There you can read our blog. I blog on all kinds of stuff, not just spirits and cigars. Mostly that, but not, not only that. So there's something for everybody kind of there. Uh, and you can listen to prior episodes, and you can also find links to all of our affiliate partners. Uh, please support our affiliate partners. They have, they've really stepped in and you know supported me, and so I try to support them back. Uh, Caliber Coffee, it's a veteran-owned coffee company out of South Carolina. Uh, it has, I used to own a coffee house, I say that all the time, and it is, they probably have some of the best blends that I've ever tried. Uh, I prefer their 22 caliber, their lightest roast, but their 9 millimeter, their medium roast is really good too. Uh, but I've, I've had all the way up to their darkest roast, and, and they don't do anything that is not excellent. Go see Caliber Coffee, and you can find a link on our website. <clears throat> uh, Freedom Fatigues, another veteran-owned business. Uh, they do patriotic wear, T-shirts, hats, uh, sweatshirts, all that kind of stuff. Uh, everything is uh, made in America, so you are supporting a veteran-owned company that does nothing but made in America. And how can you beat that, right? Uh, you can also find a link to them on our website. True Classic Teas, Tip Top Proper Cocktails, and most especially, 
Total Wine and Cigars International. That's where I get the uh, spirits and cigars for my pairings and support those folks because they have done an awesome job supporting me. Until we get to be together again, keep your sticks dry, your stones cold, and have a great day.